Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. We have done it. We have successfully mined a Bitcoin Cash block, a solo Bitcoin Cash block. Now, this is a continuation of my last video, my solo mining on steroids video. But to bring you up to speed on that whole deal, that whole project, I wanted to see what it really took to solo mine a block. And so I rented some hash rate. Now, my typical solo mining setup is about 125 terahashes per second. And so I wanted to know what would happen if I rented like 10 petahashes per second, which is equivalent to 10,000 terahashes per second. So again, my usual rate is about, or hash rate, is about 125, and I bumped it up to 10,125, so substantial. And I wanted to see what would happen. How long would it take for me to actually get a block? Now, when I started out, I started with solo pool, but I had some trouble getting the miners connected, so I switched over to via BTC. Then I got the crazy idea in my head that if I'm going to spend this money, I want to get a Bitcoin block. I want $300,000. And so I switched over to CK Pool for a while. But then I was talking to one of my friends and he said, look, man, why don't you just ride it out with Bitcoin Cash? Your odds are much better and see how long it takes. And so I thought, OK, let's do that. So I switched back to via BTC and I let the thing ride. And probably 16 hours in, maybe no hits yet. And your odds per day are only one in three per day that you hit a block. So you got a 33% chance, more or less, with 10 petahashes of hitting a Bitcoin cash block. So the odds are good, but they're not great. I mean, obviously, it's not like a 9 out of 10 chance or whatever the case is. Uh, and so I wasn't seeing anything, no action. And so I thought, let's bump it up a little bit. So this spike you see down here is when I purchased an additional 10 uh, petahashes for three hours. So all of a sudden, my rate went up to 20 petahashes a second and still nothing. Uh, that rental expired and still hadn't gotten a block and so I was back down to 10. But I wanted to let it ride and see how far it would go. And so, let this thing go for a while. We were 20 hours in, nothing. 21 hours in, nothing. 22 hours in, nothing. Finally, I was like 23 and a half hours into this and I thought, you know what? I'm capping it at 24 hours and I gotta go to bed, I'm tired. It was a long day, I need to get some sleep and so I went to bed. And when I woke up this morning, I saw this. So in the last 30 minutes, I need to figure out, I need to like explore the, uh, the block explorer and figure out exactly what time that block hit because I'm really curious as to how much time I actually had left when this hit. But I know it was within that 30 minute window because again, I was 23 and a half hours. At this point, I was like $850 into this project. And so I was thinking pretty much, you know, I lost 850 bucks. I really wasn't willing to lose any more than that. Uh, I didn't even want to lose 850 but I thought it was a lost cause. But then I get out this morning and I just checked just to see what happened. And I noticed that look here, I have solved a Bitcoin Cash block. So now uh, the value on that thing is like $1,550. Now Bitcoin just dropped in price as did Bitcoin Cash. So three weeks ago or something, these things were worth 15 or no, not 15, they were worth $1,800 for Bitcoin Cash block. Now it's down to 1550, but I think it's gonna go back up. But you'll see, actually it shows my time here uh, the time was 1.01. I want to figure out what time my rental actually expired. So my rental expired at 1.46. And it says I got this at 1.01. So I guess I did it within 44 minutes. I thought I went to bed with 30 minutes to spare. So maybe I'm wrong here. Maybe I'm a little off. I was very, very tired. Uh, but okay, so with 45 minutes to spare, I ended up solving a block. This is equivalent to like a World Cup match and we're like in the 91st minute and somebody just nails one right into the upper 90, uh, just right at, the, right at the end of the time, right before the whistle. This is as exciting as solo mining gets. Now, some people are giving me shit about renting hash rate. Oh, you didn't do it with your own miners and all that stuff. That's not what this is about, okay? This is about just achieving it and solving a block. And I pretty much doubled my money. Again, I made 700 bucks, I spent 850, but even still, I was able to, through solo mining, make some pretty decent money. I mean, that's a really good return on investment over the course of 24 hours. Now, of course, Again, the risk was high, and I want to be clear on this. This is no guarantee. If you go out today and you buy yourself 24 hours worth of 10 petahash hash rate, you still only have a one in three chance of actually solving a block. So you may do it, but you may not. But I don't want you to see my video and think that I'm like trying to shill for this company and trying to get you to go and spend all your hard-earned money. I was willing to risk a bunch of money, mostly because I have a YouTube channel and I have a mining-related business. And so talking about this stuff, this kind of content, helps me out. It's good for the channel. 
It's good for my business where I make parts and all that stuff because it just brings attention to the stuff I'm doing. For the average person, I would never recommend gambling more than you're totally comfortable with lighting on fire. So if you got a whole bunch of money and you want to go burn 850 bucks, be my guest. But if you have like $900 left in your bank account and you're watching this video and you're thinking, wow, Ryan did it. So I'm going to put all my money into mining rig rentals and I'm going to try to make $1,550. I'm going to try to double that money. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do anything irresponsible. That's my financial advice for the day. So really not much more to say. I will drop a link in the description to exactly where I rented this rig. Uh, again, it was a great experience. The people were very helpful as far as getting all set up and all that. It was very simple. I mean, once you, once you pay, it's, uh, you have to deposit some money into your balance on mining rig rentals. Once you've done that, you just select a rig, which is pretty simple. There's a uh, marketplace here that you go to and you just select SHA-256. Uh, where to go and then once you do that you just select how much you want and then once you've selected your rig it's pretty easy you just it's like any if you already have a bid axe or you already have a miner uh, it's very similar to that you just type in your pool settings and your wallet address and all that stuff and it's good to go beware of some of these sites i know there are some things and i'm not trying to shit on one click miner because i've never used one click miner uh, but somebody recommended that to me and i looked at the rates and they were pretty cheap but I noticed that you have to use their pools and I am not a fan of that at all. Uh, I do not want to trust somebody in saying that they're giving me a certain rate, but I have to connect to their pool and I can't connect to other pools. Uh, with this, I was able to connect to pools that I know and like and trust via BTC, uh, CK pool, which is an OG pool that we all use to solo mine for Bitcoin. And so it worked and I was able to verify that I was getting what I pay for. But had they said to me on Mining Rig Rentals that I had to use their pools, it would have been a no-go. I never would have trusted it. And I guarantee I probably never would have made any money. I would have not have solved a block. So there may be other um, avenues for this stuff. There may be some good providers. I know people use NiceHash. I've never tried that one either. I only used Mining Rig Rentals because I saw some other people had some good luck with it on Reddit. And so I tried three hours. I verified that it worked and I went from there. Um, but again, I can't tell you if this is the best choice. I can just tell you that this is one that worked for me. And I was able to verify that they were actually, you know, giving me what I paid for. So that was cool. Um, but yeah, there's a link to this if you want to go and click on it. I found a referral link. So I think I get like eight cents if you sign up or something like that so you know use my link so i can make that eight cents i'll use all the proceeds from my referral money to do more of this stuff for the channel uh, next time i want to try for bitcoin i really want to do like you can get one exahash which is insane i mean the price on that is crazy let me check that out real fast so if you go to this and you want to rent let's look in litecoin 117 litecoins litecoins worth about 100 bucks to put that into perspective so it's very very expensive you're going to spend eleven thousand dollars if you want to get one exahash for three hours you can definitely get some blocks there and that will absolutely get you some bitcoin cash blocks and maybe even a bitcoin block so maybe it's worth the money i don't know um but be careful again don't go wasting your money on stuff uh, make sure that you're comfortable with losing whatever it is you put up in something like this and maybe it will work out for you too hopefully fingers crossed thoughts and prayers hopes and dreams anyway so if you have any questions about this stuff let me know you can leave me a comment you can always send me a message on instagram if you want to talk about stuff that is mining related as i always say don't message me to talk about random stuff i'm a busy guy i got lots of stuff going on i'm always happy to talk about the mining stuff but i do not want to talk to you about politics or whatever you're just randomly thinking about or whatever the case is sometimes people send me weird messages and they have nothing to do with mining and uh, that's not why I tell you to message me on Instagram I'm not just looking for friends I'm here to help you if you want to talk about solo mining uh, bit axes nerd QX plus pluses uh, desktop miners in general any of that stuff because I like talking about it and it's fun Anyway, thank you for tuning into the channel and I appreciate your support as always. We've got some exciting reviews coming up. I will be making a video later today that should be fun. Uh, we also have a couple new products to try, which I think will be very interesting. So subscribe to the channel if you wanna know more about home mining. I think we're gonna also do this on a regular basis too. We'll probably do this maybe once a month and see what happens. Uh, we may switch it up a little bit. I think next time maybe we'll try for like Bitcoin 2 and see how many Bitcoin 2 blocks we can suck up with 10 petahashes. That might be fun. Uh, but we'll try to do this on a somewhat regular basis because I like it and enjoy it, and it's fun. 
Anyway, that's all I got for today. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you next time.